I love being on the ground around other young people and in community because there's so much positivity around this and young people just want to get it done. Bridget Karma has been travelling Australia, promoting a yes vote in next month's referendum on a voice to parliament. I support the voice because I see it as a structural reform that will allow First Nations peoples to have a seat at the table through our uh, delegates or our representatives on The Voice and we know that when you give voice to people that issues affect um, or listen to what they have to say, you're going to end up with better outcomes. Bridget's the co-chair of the Uluru Youth Dialogue, a group established to promote the voices of First Nations young people. She's optimistic younger Australians will deliver a resounding yes. I'm experiencing a lot of positivity. Um, young people are super interested in it. A lot of young people are informed already about it and will be voting yes. yes. Opinion polls suggest yes. the voice to parliament will be rejected. But a nationally representative survey found younger Australians are more likely to support the proposal. Yes. Younger Australians are very concerned about issues, more so than political parties, and of course this is a referendum, so it's a vote about an idea rather than a, for a political party. Bridgestone quit! Bridgestone quit! Bridgestone quit! When the youth vote didn't turn out to vote, that had a major impact on the Leave campaign being successful with the Brexit vote in the UK. So if young people have enrolled to vote, if those numbers are high, then young people's vote will be very important in determining the outcome. Political scientist Professor Andrea Carson is tracking the yes and no campaigns on a key youth battleground, social media. Anti-voice videos like this have been played millions of times on TikTok. Australia, don't scroll. Indigenous woman Jacinta Nampajimpa Price just told politicians exactly what she thinks of their voice to parliament, and she did it straight to their faces. I understand Australians want to do... We're seeing that the No campaign, particularly um, Fair Australia, which is doing most of the No campaigning, uh, has three or four times more followers on its TikTok sites, but its individual videos, and they're putting up a lot more videos, are getting well over a million posts. By contrast, the Yes23 campaign uh, is, has put up far fewer posts and they're getting in the tens of thousands rather than the millions of views. Whether higher engagement translates into more votes remains to be seen. We know as political scientists that just because someone's exposed to a message doesn't necessarily change political behaviour. But I guess if you want to change political behaviour, you need to reach those voters in the first place. In southern Tasmania, Palawa woman Katana Mansell runs a food business on land handed back to her community. Ever since we've got this land returned back to our people, we have really shown that when Aboriginal people are on our own lands again, that we can really feel connected back to our cultural practices, our community, and to grow that future for our younger ones. Australians were incorrectly taught for decades that Tasmanian Aboriginal people were extinct. Katana says her community's voice was hard won and fears it could be replaced by a representative body. The 23-year-old is voting no. We know how to make our own decisions. We have our own laws, we have our own way of living, we've got our cultural values and our cultural responsibilities. And I think we're making more loud noise outside of the parliament doing what we do as a community, coming together as a community and not just having one or two people represent the community as a whole. Katana is hopeful a rejection of the voice could deliver a treaty. There was the promise that was made to Aboriginal people that there was going to be a treaty and we are going to continue to fight and speak with the government about demanding that we get this treaty and that is the kind of goal for our community here in Lutruwita, Tasmania because we can see that a treaty has a lot more power. These final three weeks are critical to both sides of the campaign. Early voting will open on the 2nd and the 3rd of October, depending which state you live in. 
That means that if the polls are going to turn around for the yes side, they need to start turning around right now. And you know, to be this young... When 7.30 visited last week, Bridget was launching a new social media campaign. Thank you to Bridget and Alira for all their hard work. For Bridget, fighting for a voice means protecting her future and the future of other young Australians. The outcome of this referendum will affect our futures the most out of everybody because if we don't get this done now and Australia doesn't vote yes in this referendum, then I'll, I'll still be having the same conversations within my lifetime and still trying to deal with that question within my lifetime. And I don't want to pass that on to future generations. One, two, three, yeah!